Hi guys, welcome back. Weird conversations with Juan and Teets. Hi Teets. Hey, how are you going? Good, good. So this one's really exciting and it's all about why Blue Melon spends time and effort in upskilling their team. Number one. Number one, obvious one. We get to learn new skills. That's always good. Number two. Number two, because you're learning new things, it starts to become a bit of a competitive advantage because everyone's trying to stay on top of the game. Number three. Number three, it's a good use of quiet time. So there's hours in between, you're waiting on feedback or a bit of low time. Um, you know, you might as well be learning something. What's yeah. number four? Number four, it's always good to allow people to explore other things. So you may be at work, we don't get the perfect brief, but then it allows you to start to try new things. Maybe you're into 3D, maybe you're into Web3, NFTs, I don't know. So you can try new things and explore, and then maybe that becomes something you will do in the future. Next one. Number five. So coming off what Juan said, it allows each melon to explore their passion. So we actually get the chance to kind of pick the course we want to study or any interest that we have, we can look into whether that's calligraphy, NFTs, metaverse, creative direction. Everyone can follow kind of what they're interested in and passionate in and it might be different across the team. What is number six? Number six is very important to me. I think the best creatives are the ones that have curiosity. It's all about being curious and you need to kind of keep that going on. So that is enabling everyone to be curious in their own paths. Number seven. Number seven is it shows employee autonomy and trust. You might know a bit more about this than me, Juan, but I guess it kind of makes sure that when people do have quiet time, they are upskilling on their own. Obviously, you kind of have an idea of what's going on, but it's on each melon, each employee, to kind of take responsibility for staying upskilled in their role. 100%. Yeah. And the last one, but not least, is at the end, we get to share your knowledge. So here in Blue Melon, we have a ritual every week that is called Lish Learn, which somebody comes in front of an audience and shows, and the audience will learn a new topic. So by training and learning and upskilling your team, it's just better sense for having a great culture, people stay on top of what they like, we stay on top of the market, and then we get to share it internally. Mm -hmm. So it just spreads the love. And that's it, that's what we do it. That's it, and if you wanna stay up to date with any more work culture things or upskilling, just keep following us at Blue Melon Design. Awesome, thank you, Diggs. Bye. Chicka bam bam, Blue Melon. <laughs>